Hi there. My name is Anthony, and, th and my science project is how to charge an iPod with fruit. And uh, the reason why I chose it was because there have been many debates and discussions about how it can or cannot be possible to charge an iPod with fruits. So I'm doing this to see if either it can or can't. These are the materials that I am going to be using to conduct my experiment. An apple, an orange, and a banana. I will also be using a iPod USB cable, two tie wires, two three inch nails, a tie wire cutter, and of course, the iPod. The first step which I have already done was to strip each end of each tie wire and on one end on one end I stripped it a half inch and then on the other end one and a half inch for both of them the next step is to grab eat both of the tie wires and wrap the one and a half inch part and wrap it around the nail four t the head of the nail four times then you are gonna do that for both of them Once you have wrapped each of the one and a half inch ends of each tie wire to a nail, you will then take the pointed end of each nail and insert them one into the orange and one into the apple.
after we have inserted each nail into the orange and into the apple, we will then take the half an inch end of each tie wire and insert them into the banana, making sure from each that they are about one inch apart from each other. The next step is easy, we just have to let the fruits sit connected to each other so that the energy from both the orange and the apple can reach the banana. The banana is acting as our conductor for this experiment. My research indicated that if this were to work that it would be best to let the fruits sit connected to one another for roughly 30 minutes for best results. The reason that you allow the fruits to sit connected to each other before moving on is because you want to give them what is called a acidic energy from the orange and the apple time to travel from them through the two nails and through the wires into the banana. It is stated that the longer you wait, the better the results. Now that we have allowed the fruits to sit connected to each other, we can move on to the next step which involves inserting the USB end of our iPod cable into the banana directly between the two tie wires we previously inserted. To be honest, my research indicates that this process may damage the USB cable. This is why I am using my uncle's and not mine. Now we connect the iPod to the cable and see if it will charge. Well, as you can see, the experiment failed because the iPod battery indicator failed to show the charging icon it would normally show. Had it been plugged into an outlet, don't forget to click like on this video and feel free to try this experiment. And if you happen to have success, please share your video with me by clicking the video response button. Thank you for watching and goodbye. The best part of this experiment is I get to eat all of what's left. The materials I will be using are an apple, an orange, I can't bring myself to say banana. <laughs>
<laughs> Even you're laughing. Uh. The materials that I will be using. <laughs> Hi there. Oh! These are the materials. These are the materials that I am going to be using to conduct my experiment. An apple, an orange, and a banana. I will also be using a USB. <laughs> The first step, which I've already done, was to... S I forgot!